How's it going everyone? You got Cory here, aka Mega Crasher, and I want to present you guys with a brand new video. Now, we have ourselves some news to talk about here today, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I do apologize, I look a little bit weird. I've never shot a video this early in the morning in quite some time, so I do apologize for the glare, you know, the sun just beaming right into my window. So, with that being said, guys, hope you enjoy the video, and let's go ahead and let's begin. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing here I want to address is something that I should have talked about when I got home yesterday from work, but as soon as I got home, I was out cold. So, it's actually kind of good that I'm able to talk about this here right now, because we have other news to talk about. And that is, as you guys can see right here on the graphic, we have ourselves the Pokemon Go Earth Day 2019 event. Now, this event features increased ground-type Pokemon spawns, and not to mention double Stardust and double Candy when you capture ground-type Pokemon as well. So, that's going to be really good for candy farming, and especially good for Stardust grinding. Now, aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, we also have ourselves the fresh release of Shiny Diglett and, by proxy, Shiny Dug Trio, which, you know, they may not be meta-relevant Pokemon, but I think they look pretty cool. I mean, I think it's kind of adorable that we have ourselves uh, Diglett's nose going from a pink to a blue. And finally, guys, we have ourselves the return of Groudon, and with that, you also have a chance to get Shiny Groudon, should you, of course, defeat it in raid battles. So, just kind of want to add this in here as well. I know this technically happened yesterday, so I do apologize for the lateness here of this portion of the news. But, let's go ahead now, let's move on to some fresher news. And, believe me when I say, when I woke up to this, I was actually really, really surprised that Niantic did something like this. So, let's do this. Alright guys, now this right here, I I still can't even get over the fact that this just even happened, okay? And what a way for these Pokemon to debut in Pokemon Go. Now normally when it comes to legendary Pokemon, right, they would appear in raid battles. Well, no, not this time, because we have ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, the special Lake Trio, known as Azelf, Yuxi, and Mesprit actually appearing in the wild, albeit in very rare portions, but the fact that they're actually appearing in the wild, man, <laughs> that is absolutely bonkers right there. So, here's the thing. So it says, and I quote, in a surprise release, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf have started to appear in Pokemon Go. Unlike most of the legendary Pokemon in the past, they are spawning in the wild, but in very rare amounts, and they only appear to be regional as well. So, we have ourselves Azelf being reported to be spotted in America, we have Mesprit in Europe, and Yuxi in Japan at present, and they spawn near bodies of water. And I mean, it does kind of make sense, especially given the fact that they are the Lake Trio, and, you know, when you played, uh, the games that they would be in, that being uh, the Gen 4 ones, being Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you would see that they would be uh, residing in, you know, the uh, in the lakes of the Sinnoh region, right? So, it makes perfect sense here in this case, too, but the fact that they're actually released in the wild, though, man, I mean, that's actually pretty, uh, pretty awesome, if you ask me. Like, I, I actually kind of dig this implementation of Legendary Release. Now, with that being said, uh, we have ourselves reports of Shellos now being a thing in Pokemon Go, um, but that's just, that's like, okay, like, that's really, really awesome and interesting, but apparently people have reported that the spawns have ceased, so I'm not entirely sure if this was a mistake on Niantic's end, or if this was just like kind of a... I don't know. Like, I really don't know what else I can call it other than a possible mistake or a glitch on Niantic's end. I don't know. Maybe this release was accidental or maybe it was, um, it was intentional, but they decided to take away the spawns for whatever reason. But with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, do let me know your thoughts down below about this. I mean, are you guys excited about this? Are you guys excited about 
the a legendary lake trio now being a thing here in Pokemon Go? Leave your thoughts down below about that. But with that being said though guys, we've got some other news here to talk about, not relating to Pokemon Go, but now relating to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So guys, now we have ourselves some battle competition news for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and this, ladies and gentlemen, I can honestly say I am super, super stoked about this, because get this, Details for the next battle competition have been announced, and it is the 2019 International May competition, and it's for non-Japan regions. Now, the reason why I am really excited about this will, you know, become apparent a little bit further on. But here's the thing, is that if you guys remembered the details from the last battle competition, it was for Japan only. Well, this right here is now, you know, expanding from Japan to the rest of the world. Now, this is a battle competition that is contested under Doubles Battles rules and, you know, the standard VGC where you can also use two restricted Pokemon. You know, we're talking about the big, badass, legendary Pokemon. We're talking about the likes of Mewtwo. We're talking about Groudon. We're talking about Lugia, Ho-Oh. The list goes on, right? And also, ladies and gentlemen, it's based off the Ultra Sun series, where you can use both Z Crystals and Mega Evolutions. So it's going to be a jam packed sort of competition when it comes to all the stuff you're allowed to use. I mean, you're allowed to use Legendaries, you're allowed to use Mega Stones, Z Crystals. I mean, you know, they threw everything in but the kitchen sink, you know what I'm saying? But see, here's the thing is that. This competition also allows championship points to the highest ranked players to give players the opportunity to go to the world championships. Now, all of the Pokemon that is used in this competition will be rounded down or rounded up to level 50, so that way it is a completely fair and level playing field. Now, registration will start from May 16th to the 23rd, and then right thereafter from the 24th to the 26th, that's when battles are going to commence. But guys, get this. This right here is what excites me the most, okay? Because all entrants who play three or more matches will get a shiny Tapu Fini distributed to them at a later date. Now, here's the thing. I was severely disappointed that this battle competition allowed for shiny Tapu Fini to be distributed, but it was for Japan only. And shiny Tapu Fini, I mean, like, like just take a look at that. You cannot go wrong with shiny Tapu Fini. Like, that's, that's like, that is waifu material right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, shiny Tapu Fini compared to regular Tapu Fini just looks absolutely glorious. It looks absolutely amazing. And how this was even a thing in the first place, you know, they were, they were teasing us. You know what I'm saying? But the fact now that we have ourselves our shot to get Tapu Fini as well as, you know, get some battles on and, you know, even have an opportunity to go to Worlds, I think that's pretty damn cool. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is going to be the end here of this news video. I hope you guys are pumped up from the news that we had talked about because I'll tell you what, I sure am, man. Like, this is just absolutely crazy right now, you know? Um, we have ourselves another battle competition with uh, Shiny Tapu Fini being a prize for all entrants who compete in three or more matches. We have ourselves the Legendary Lake Trio now appearing in the wild in Pokemon Go. I mean, again, like, that's just, that's just utter madness right there. That's just crazy, you know? Um, I gotta say, I really do enjoy the implementation of the Legendary Lake Trio in Pokemon Go. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's it's really awesome, you know? Um, now, they are really rare spawns, so you do have to be on the lookout and also give the fact that uh, they're legendary Pokemon, so of course they're going to be rare, you know? So, with that being said, I also hope that you guys have a good Earth Day as well. Well, Earth Day in terms of uh, the Pokemon Go event, because that is happening until May the 2nd. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.